My name is Gaurav. We, I'm displaying you Quasar, which is a military grade drone. It is a nano drone which has multiple purpose kind of a drone. We use this drone to detect humans, detect objection, objects and all these features. It's like we can use this drone as a thermal drone also. We can use this drone as a building intervention drone. We can use it for surveillance. We can use it for multiple platforms. So I'll give you a little glimpse of how this drone actually works. So you can see this is an autonomous drone which is flying autonomously. So you can see the drone taking the package, going inside the building, dropping the package. So it has indoor navigation, GPS denied, ability to carry and drop 1 kg of uh, you know any kind of a payload so this is like a fire extinguisher which we have designed for navy same drone it is going inside the navy ships you can see you know going inside the containers so this is how this drone has been designed this is small sir. drone yes sir this small drone going inside the navy ships and everything you can see it sir it is going inside navy detecting the fire location and then dropping the fire extinguisher on this thing wonderful so this is how it has been so designed. What, sir. what are the features here? Can you elaborate? So this is a thermal sensor. It detects the fire, sir. Then we have a camera attached over here. It detects the human object identification, human identification. Then we have a completely autonomous flying control over here, which we don't need any GPS signal or some, you know, to fly this drone. So and it's a very economic drone, you know. Cost just like you know, in in some few thousands you will get this drone, you know. And it's very easy to have in uh, your arsenal. Like every unit can have this drone because it is solving your multiple purposes. As we have seen in drone industry, one drone is solving one purpose. But this mini drone, this uh, you know, nano drone is solving your four to five purposes. It sends you, know? you real-time data, real-time video. Real-time surveillance, real-time video, along with AI's integration into it. Can it can also be operated in forest areas like forest, you know, Anantanag we have exactly. seen. Exactly. We recently saw one of the incidents, you know, this is the ideal drones for such kind of a locations where we can track people through heat signatures, through visual confirmations, we can do non-stop surveillance. To, Sound is one concept, you know, when we talk about the sound of the drone. So we are making sure that this drone has less than 10 dcm kind of a sound, sir, so that nobody can, uh, you know, even get to know that there is a drone hovering over here. So that is what we are, you know, uh, working into. And uh, this is the, you know, USP of this uh, product, like it is sound free kind of a drone, which is very ideal for uh, Indian military. Uh, so how long operations. can it loiter? It can fly up to 45 minutes, sir. 45, 45 minutes. 45 minutes in a normal, uh, you know, uh, areas which we have. When we talk about high altitude areas, it can give us 15 minutes of surveillance. So sir, it's great uh, for the CI operations? Exactly, exactly. So this is what it has been designed for, sir. It is only designed for like para-SF, CI operations or, you know, all these military operations, uh, MIU operations, all these operations. So this is an ideal product for those guys. Wonderful. Uh, so suppose uh, it can be operated manually, suppose... Uh, uh, somebody wants to, you know, uh, get it uh, brain kind of thing so that it decides for itself. Itself, exactly, sir. So what happens, the, we have two options to fly this. One is manually we can control entire thing. We see the human and we target like that. Uh, there is another option in this drone where we will do it everything autonomously. So, uh, you know, it, it, when we talk about fire detection, human detection, gun detection, any detection which we want, it will do it by itself, it will fly by itself, it has inertial navigation, you don't need any GPS or any satellite communication to fly this drone. You can use this drone when even there are jammers over there, you can fly this drone within the jammers. So these are the added values which we have. In so this uh, in, in next level of development, it can be embedded with artificial intelligence that can uh, recognize faces. Yes, sir. That that is like uh, it is like uh, as you see, this product is not like you know that great looking because it is a customized product. So if a client says me that I am only focused on face recognition, so I have this technology ready. I just have to add a camera, you know, which would be embedded with the face recognition tools, and we will do face recognition. It can also work like a flying warden. For an example, if we put in five or six people, you know, uh, faces in the thing, and there is a rally of hundred guys, you know, we just want to identify those five guys. Where are they standing? Where so we can do it in the fraction of a second with the help of AI, sir. Wonderful. So these are carbon uh, blades? Yes, sir, carbon blades, sir. So we want to keep it very lightweight, sir, because... What is the weight of this? Because you can see it, it's not more than 80, 90 grams, sir. Yes. So it has got one camera here. Yes, sir. And it has got one sensor over. here. So blades, rotors, That's so four rotors and... Completely autonomous. This is the brain. Brain, the yes, chip. sir. Exactly, sir. Okay. And it has got some, uh, um, perhaps... Uh, 
C type charger. C or? type charger, yes, sir. This is a C type charger. We, 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 for an example, if you put in a, a, a memory card into it, you mm -hmm. know, we don't want a live relay. You know, we want to store that, you know, thing. Mm -hmm. So we can put in a hard, I mean, a memory card over here. We can send it for flying. It will automatically keep on recording. And uh, when what happens in autonomous modes also, you know, it uh, has a live camera within itself. It mm -hmm. detects its own path. It makes sure that, you know, for an example, it's going in a building. There are three windows. So they will look at one window, which is the a best way to come out of that place. Mm -hmm. So it decides everything by its own based on the intelligence which we have fed into it, sir. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. So surveillance, recognition, uh, 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 reconnaissance, and uh, uh, thermal signatures, two wall, four wall, I, uh, building into everything is there in this small drone. Sir. It can operate in uh, different uh, climatic different conditions. Climatic. We have tested it at high altitude. We have tested it at Pokhran, Jaisalmer, and you know high well, plus 50 degree kind of a temperature. And what, what, is what about minus temperature? Minus that's what I was talking. We have tested this drone at uh, the you know Kashmir region, like where uh, the height was somewhere around 10,000 uh, feet height, sir, at the temperature of sub-zero, like minus three. It was working for eight time, nine minutes over there, maximum for ten minutes. And these Battery operations, exactly, operations sir, gets less. less. But ten minutes is more than enough in, in those hilly regions, sir. Yeah, ten minutes would give you a lot of lot data. of data over there. So this is how it is. Okay, design, and we, we see another drone here. What yes, is this sir. Kamakazi drone? This is basically a drone which is a uh, accessory of our uh, anti-drone defense system. As soon as we detect any drone, we send this drone and hit that drone and bring that down. That is a hard kill solution to make the drone out. Now, with the same drone, we have this multiple uh, features in this drone. Mm -hmm. One is a as per requirement, we use it for kamikazes. The second is we do 3D mapping with this drone. Mm -hmm. We have an inbuilt camera which has an AI based kind model which we have same technology. Then we have a grenade dropping mechanism over here where the okay. grenade will go into this clip, you know, like this, and mm -hmm. then the chain would be here. It will start revolving and the clip will come out and it will fall down. Okay. So that it will drop the grenade and the drone grenade. will fly back. Fly back. So we can have multiple shorties with that, you know, this drone and for an example the intruders are coming inside you know we find some target over there we just immediately send our drone and drop two three grenades over there so that people goes back to whichever place they have come from we can stop these people coming into my territory so it is part of the anti-drone system so this drone is designed in four five activities so basically this is our anti-drone defense system it gives us 10 to 12 kilometers of range in terms of uh, uh, you know rf detection is there so all this uh, uh, comes with like there is a frequency ranges like 400 megahertz to 6 gigahertz any drone which flies on these frequencies we would be able to bring it down so we have soft kill mechanism also we have a hard kill mechanism for this drone also so soft kill may we bring that we jam that drone and we bring it down for hard kill mechanism we use this drone it goes flies uh, takes uh, control of the speed you know and make sure that he is hitting the drone and bring it the drone down sir so this is like a hard kill solution which we are offering sir so this is how my counter drone and best thing is this counter drone defense system was designed under idex sir, as you see over here yeah, yeah, so yeah. we uh, have uh, we are the only company in india who uh, won the disc one challenge and uh, started working on anti drone in 2020 sir and uh, by the grace of god we developed all these things in a very niche way and now we are on a verge to get the orders from it. IEF and Indian Army. We have closed RFPs and everything. Now this delivery will start soon for these orders. Wonderful. Best wishes for that. And yes, uh, so glad to know that we have come so forward and uh, we have um, almost the industry is ready to Ex exactly. know, fight with the forces. See, the kind of government policies which has been you know uh, incorporated now, it has uh, given us a lot of fuel to work you know, in defense industry and come with a lot of uh, new ideas, new innovations and all these agencies have given us an option to put in sort of motor proposals. If we feel that this product is good ideal product for our Indian Army, they help us in terms of giving grants or funds to us. So this is how the ecosystem has you know, uh, taken a shape in such a better way that we don't feel that you know, a startup cannot grow in defense industry. You know? Our government is also focusing more on the def uh, export of our uh, exactly. technology, so our products. They want to be Atmirbhar, sir. That's yeah. what the motive of the nation is like. So, you know? what is the export potential of your products like? Both, both the drones are so remarkable. Exactly. Sir, we are also exploring the international market. We are uh, in talks with multiple countries as today we are in this event also where we would be showing it to international clients also. So, this is a, we are four years old company and we just picked up all these things and slowly we are learning and coming to it international market. It is so motivating market. in four years you yes, come sir. across with so many, uh, you know, innovative technologies which are helping our uh, forces which would help in fact sure. uh,
do you have something to say uh, to the youngsters, to students, uh, those who want to be entrepreneur and uh, yes, sir. doing uh, something good in defense manufacturing? Right. Sir, I would suggest them to be concentrating more on emerging technologies because if you want to be a nation more stronger, we have to be on, on upper hand in terms of technology when what the rest of the world is doing. So we have to be more creative. Government is helping us. We just have to come out of our shells and do something for this nation. And if you will look at a money-wise, like money-wise, it would not be... It, we have to look at it as a national service, you know. It's a service to the nation. The better innovations, the better products we will cater to the government, then we can make India's name, you know, grow everywhere, you know, and we can be one of the most, uh, you know, amazing defense exporter in the world, sir, where a lot of people would use our technologies and we can see that day coming very soon, you know, under the leadership of uh, our Prime Minister and, uh, you know, Defense Minister. Yes, the soft power of India is already exactly, uh, at sir. its peak and uh, we are also ready to showcase our showcase. hard power. Exactly, exactly, sir. Thank exactly. you for working our uh, country. Uh, thank you for fighting for India. Yes, sir. So glad to have you Thank here, you so sir, much. on National Defense. Thank you so much. Thank sir. you. Indeed. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure talking to you, sir. Thank you so much, sir.